Hello and welcome to Diary of Dionysus, I'm Fiona. Aren't castles great? Anything could happen in a castle. You could kill somebody, you could have an affair with somebody, you could eat one of the most lavish meals you've ever tried, you could go shooting, you could even just sit up and curl up and read one of your favourite books with a fire crackling in the corner. In the book that I'm reviewing this week, The Secret Rooms by Catherine Bailey, it's set in the glorious surroundings of Belvoir Castle, home to the Dukes of Rutland. Now, I have to admit that I have read this book over the last few months on my iPhone, on my iPad, and never bought a hard copy of it. Um, and I've just come back from Honeymoon where I've been reading, where I finished The Secret Rooms, and it, it was so hard to figure out how far into it I was because the page numbers on the iPhone are so different. But anyway, just stick with me on this one. So I also have another confession to make. It wasn't until the very end of the book, because I read it on the iPhone, that I realised that The Secret Rooms was actually a true story. Um, so I hope that doesn't... Uh, put you off listening to my review. Um, so the book centres around John, the Ninth Duke of Rutland, um, and his lifetime. In the last few days of his life in 1940, he died a miserable death in the freezing cold monument rooms. Uh, and it came clear to Catherine Bailey that there was something, something was being hidden. And he really spent the last few days of his life covering this, this family mystery up. So the book digs back through all of the old family letters. Um, it, it shows how John's mother, Violet, was extremely controlling, um, very harsh, and so was his father. Um, his oldest brother died when he was a child. Um, there was an old curse put on the family by some witches that had been hanged in Lincoln, Lincoln a few years, a few hundred years beforehand, which cursed the heir to the dukedom. That they would always die. So when it came to John being called up as an officer in the First World War, his mother behind his behind the scenes did everything that she possibly could to stop him being killed, and she managed to get away with it. Um, so this book, I would give a rating of three and a half out of five. I thought that it was very. Um, it's a huge piece of historical research. Um, for anybody who likes history, um, a caveat to any Downton Abbey fans that is a little bit um, more uh, serious than you know some of the storylines that you'd have in Downton. Goodreads gave it a 3.4, Amazon gave it a 3.5 and Barnes & Noble did give it a rating of 3.7. Um, so, but if you like castles, if you like the British aristocracy, it might be a good read for you. So please like this video and subscribe to our page. Thank you.